Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in on my channel. So today we're going to discuss the bags that I have sold and why. And it's not going to be a long video because there's not that a lot of the bags that I sold. But it's just going to be like an update video of the, my bag collection and why I decided to get rid of the bags. So the first bags is the Gucci So Disco. I've used this bag for so many times and I just love the bag to death. And it's in the, I still don't know what the exact color name is, but it's in the purpley magenta color. And because I bought it pre-love from Trendly, so I don't really know what's the exact name. I couldn't find it on Gucci website anymore. But it's like the Gucci So Disco. It's like a popular bag like a couple of years ago. And I think it's still popular because I've still seen a lot of people wear the bag. And I just decided to sell it because I was... It's, there is nothing wrong with the bag. I still, it's still my one of my favorite bags. But I decided to sell it because after I get more and more bags in 2017, I didn't find myself grab towards the bag more. And I think that I have used the bag again and again for the past year, like nonstop. On my vacation to Asia, I just wear the bag nonstop, and I, I just find myself like get bored of the bag. But there's, again, don't get me wrong, it's still a beautiful bag. It's just because I've just used it a lot and I have other bags that I feel like similar. So I didn't grab towards the bags anymore. So at that time, I thought, okay, this is the time that I sell the bag so I can use the money to buy another bag and also find a new home for the bag. And then the second bag is the Louis Vuitton Favorite PM. And this bag is also still... Louis Vuitton favorite is still a favorite of mine. I, I had like two uh, favorites before the MM and PM size and I do have like a comparison video of the PM and MM size if you guys want to check it out. So I got the PM first. It was pre-love and then I my friend got me the MM size once he was in Spain because it's just sold out here in the United States and and it's just here in the United States. I have been loved the PM more, but then because I had the MM, I just ended up not reaching towards the PM size uh, that often because basically they're just similar but different sizes. And in the comparison video between the PM and MM size, I did mention that uh, the PM, because of, uh, because of the smaller size, it can, like the vibe is more classy, but at the end of the day, when I go to like a classy, classy event and all that stuff, I didn't ended up grabbing my Louis Vuitton favorite PM. I ended up using more the YSL wallet on chain. So I didn't grab that. So I just decided to finally sell it. And because I think that it was really no use to have a very similar bag together. So I just find any home for that bag. But still, if you want, if you want a favorite El Louis Vuitton favorite, it's still it's still like a great great bag. And if you're still uh, con like considering uh, between the PM and MM size, please watch my comparison video. And I hope that video can help you out. And the third bag that I sold, this is I think like the biggest the biggest heartbreaking <laughs> for me to sell this bag. It is the Chanel double flap cover leather, and this is the bag that I got pre-love also um it is a beautiful beautiful bag and when i got the chanel bag i was just so thrilled because i didn't have anything chanel and i currently don't have anything chanel when i finally got that bag i was really happy but i find myself when i have the bag it's just I keep finding myself trying to make the bag work for me and the bag is so basically the bag just didn't work for me because the strap is just too short and I really love to wear the the Chanel bag as a crossbody bag and I knew this going into buying the bag I know that the strap is too short but I just decided to get it anyway because it's Chanel and everybody likes it so I would just like it also but it just didn't work for me i tried to wear it like over the shoulder and i find it like it digs into my shoulder it's not that comfortable and i tried wearing crossbody and it's too short and it's just like an awkward 
bag even though it is a beautiful bag and I might change my mind in the future I don't know because when I finally sold the bag when I was shipping the bag to the new owner I found myself I was kind of a bit sad but at the end of the day it's just there is no use if the bag is just sitting on my closet and I feel like the bag is supposed to do what it's supposed to do like make you happy and you you have to like w wear the bags but if you don't find yourself happy wearing the bag using the bag so I feel like it's time to get rid of the bag so yeah but I might again change my mind in the future you never know because it is like a beautiful bag but right now I am looking to buy either the Chanel wallet on chain or the Chanel uh, mini square but I know that both of the both of the items are very rare and very hard to get so we'll see I might end up getting a pre-love also which I have totally no problem as long as they're in a good condition you just have to be careful from the source where you get the bags from if it's pre-love so I guess that's it that's all the bags that I've sold and why if I have any more I will create an update video uh, later in the future well, I hope that th this video can help you one way or another and if you're still thinking to get the bag or not I'm just sharing my experiences it may or may not work for you but this is what happens to me so I hope that this can help you and yeah if you enjoyed the video please click that thumbs up button and also if you haven't already done so please click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future video and I'll see you in the next one